All right, this is Storm Mountain Trail uh, East End. I turned the camera on after I drove through the gate, but we are crossing the private property right now. Uh, I believe this is Trail 153, and it connects up to 128. So I'm gonna take a little video sections here as we go. Uh, solo run today, so I'm gonna be pretty conservative and careful on uh, any particular obstacles. Haven't been up here since the uh, Big Thompson flood, so I don't know what to expect. Uh, this road was pretty heavily damaged, but it's been graded uh, in a lot of spots from what I've been reading, so we will see what happens. Alright, we are approaching the upper gate, thus meaning we're off private property. Looks like nobody's here, at least not with an ATV. It's 8.30 on November 29th, 2014. I am going to uh, stop real quick, I got something rattling here, it's just bugging me, so. We'll be back. All right. Well, we're going to go clear to the west end of the trail today. Oh, here's another gate. This wasn't here before. Huh. Yeah, that's a shiny brand new one. Anyway, we're going to go clear to the west end today. That overlooks Estes Park. Alright, we're still uh, working our way up 153 here. We're about a mile or so from the gate. And uh, we're just entering the uh, burn area. Um, this was back in 2000. It was that summer of 2000. Bobcat Gulch fire. Upper loop, let's take the upper loop. There's nobody up here camping. There was on the lower part of the trail. actually grass growing in the trail. Uh, Forest Service opened this, I want to say it was around August. So it's been open for a few months. But still, this part of the trail just doesn't get driven that much. So. dropping down the little uh, spur trail here and the wind is blowing like 40 miles an hour look at that yeah shooting up this uh, valley right here That one's 
too gnarly to drive over with those sticks sticking up. I'll see if I can drag it out of the way. Gotta see if I can get the door open first. Shit. on the main trail here and uh, we're out of the burn area and the wind is basically calm now because of that so we should be coming up on a spur um, I want to say like Stevens Gulch or something of the sorts oh wow this is a lot deeper than it used to be this is a uh, flood damage here Oh, I think it's Bear Gulch. That's what it is. There's the sign. Should be a spur up here to the right. We're going to take that. Just for the fun of it. Oh. That used to be a uh, spur. I guess we'll go this way. I think this is Nelson Spring. Yeah, I can't make the corner. Yeah. This is Trail 345. three dead ends on this trail, but we'll go up there just for the hell of it. All right, we just hit the top of uh, 345, and I hung a left, uh, or west, I should say, and we're on 345B. I haven't been up here in a while. Last time I was, I was on my ATV, so. I know there's a gate up here at some point, Okay, we are basically at the end of 345B here. Here's the gate that blocks the access to Crystal Mountain. It's been a while since I've looked, but I want to say county records did not show that this was private property right here, that it was private property further up, but regardless, it is blocked off, so. Long, long time ago, you could go through here. It's actually double gated. There's a uh, there's a more standard gate. There's not four service locks on this gate. These are private locks. And then there's the giant metal gate behind it that there's no way you could get through that. So that's the end of 345B. And there's actually a gate just down to the right too, but there's no reason to go down there. So we'll back out, turn around. Whoops. Getting a little close to a tree here. All right, we're back on uh, 153. And uh, this is where it kind of starts to ascend here. It's still pretty smooth trail. I mean, just a little bit behind me, I was doing between 15 and 20 on the flats, and it's really smooth. I 
think this portion of the trail has been graded after the flood. I wanted to say it was rougher than this in the past. Get over right here. Must be people hunting up here. I've seen a couple trucks now. Here's another. junction of 153 and 128, otherwise known as Gallucci Meadow. So far an uneventful drive. Windy as crap. Every once in a while there's a tree in the road, but I've been able to go over them or drive on top of them without leaving the footprint of the trail. A fire department guy too. Two vehicles. There's one over there. Let's see. Huh. Okay. Up here a little bit. This turns into 128. key part of this that I wanted to record was this hill. There's a fun little hill here uh, just on the other side of this meadow. And it's usually very challenging but it has allegedly been graded all the way up. top of this used to be a hell of an obstacle. I mean, you'd have tires in the air. Not anymore, by God. No, nope. just drive right up that. And then right up here, there used to be another spot where you're, you'd be floating tires. Uneventful. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, right there, you float a tire. 
junction here uh, before the uh, ascent to the summit. We'll go up to the summit, check that out. Yeah, look at that thing. That thing's got tracks. I gotta get a picture of that. Summit of storm. All right, we're down off the summit of uh, storm here, and I'm at the uh, junction of 153C uh, to the left and 153B to the right, and uh, we're going to take B uh, all the way to the west end of the trail, and I'm going to hike up to an overlook and check it out. Well, it didn't take long. There is a uh, downed tree number one. I'm thinking I can winch this out of the way. is with this freaking wind. That angle should work. Okay, normally I would never stand in front of the vehicle while I was operating the winch, but that was such a light load that there wasn't even it wasn't even bogging it down. So hopefully this uh, doesn't become a winch fest here. I'm not interested in that today. So we'll keep on going. See what happens. I 
hate doing that. Uh, still on 153B. Wind is a lot calmer on the uh, uh, north side of the slope here. So far there was only that one tree in the trail. And uh, there is no tire tracks in this snow. And it hasn't snowed up here in a couple weeks. So I am the only person back here right now. Which is kind of fun. But you can see there's no tracks in that snow. There's some footprints, but they're old. Alright, well, that didn't take long. Uh, it's only been like five minutes. And uh, there's another tree in the trail. And I don't know if I can winch this one out. Let me go look at this. We might be uh, we might be done for here. And I'm only three tenths of a mile away from my destination too. 